For the past few weeks, I've been working diligently in my spare time on building this ultimate composting area for our future compost pile. I've been clearing this area, I trimmed the trees, I had to get my pole saw out and really get up high so that I could make a nice little area here for my tractor to level out the ground. I'd like to create my own compost and soil here at the farm simply because we need it in the garden. And I'm actually quite tired of spending money buying soil. This property does not have any great soil. This is the challenge. So this is the area that we're left with. It's quite large. This is about 40 feet by 30 feet deep. And I know that we don't need anywhere near that much space to make a compost pile, right? But we have the space and I have an idea. Now just quickly, for anyone who's new to the channel, this is the Chateau du Poulet. And we keep our chickens in there. It's got seven coops and three breeds of chicken right now. And the reason why we don't free range our birds is because we run this as a farm stay vacation rental and guests can come to the farm. And occasionally they do bring their pets, their dogs, and not all dogs are like our amazing dogs and trained around small animals. If I was to have those guest dogs that have a high prey drive access to our birds, that probably wouldn't turn out too good and it'd be a really awkward situation for the guests and myself. So to prevent all that, I can't free range the birds at all until I have proper fencing around here. And that's somewhat of a bigger job and that's to come later on as the summer goes by when I get some time to get her done. Now I am gonna be using some old pallets to make some bins like some corral area for the different stages of the compost. I got some real long ones here. These are eight footers. Using this three bin technique is just to keep things simplified. I'm a very busy guy and I don't have a lot of time and I really need to keep it absolutely simple and have all of my browns and all of my greens prepped ahead of time because by the end of this video, I would have started my very first compost pile in one of the bins. And that's gonna be awesome and make a huge change to the way we operate the farm. But I am gonna show you how easy this method is in a future video, hopefully in the not too distant future, showing how the compost has heated up and completed, turning into the black gold that we want. Hopefully it won't take that long. Now, I've been saving these piles of dried brown leaves to use as the brown in the compost. And I have them in a few different areas around the farm and I've just been going around collecting them all and getting them close to the pile so I'm ready to go. Of course, it's always a good idea to use whatever materials you have rather than buying more lumber. <laughs> this skid right here is pretty old. It's been sitting there. It was on the property when we bought the place. And this skid is eight foot long, but you can see the space in between each slat there. It's too big, so I'm gonna have to put like a piece of wood in between. Otherwise, the stuff is just gonna fall right through. And it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do to make it right. It's, that's going horizontal, this one's going vertical, but that's okay, I got two vertical, one horizontal, horizontal's in the middle, vertical's on each side, and I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Okay, I got this initial setup done. I got one bin, two bin, three bins done. I put some new boards on there just to make these antique skids a little bit more durable. 
and I also have these T-posts to uh, make sure it stays erect. Each one of these bins is approximately eight feet wide. And the reason why I did this is because I'm trying to make this composting bin system John Deere friendly. And the bucket on my John Deere 3039R is exactly six feet. Remember what I said, I'm trying to make this like a lazy man's way where I don't have to give it too much attention. Once I have compost ready to go, then I can just use the tractor bucket and it'll be so much easier rather than shoveling and shoveling and shoveling and shoveling forever and ever. So what I'm gonna do is just layer this stuff, browns and greens, and I'm not really being too scientific about it at this point. I'm just trying to get my feet wet and basically maybe 50-50, 50% 50, 50, 50 browns, 50% greens. The greens hopefully are really gonna start heating up as the nitrogen breaks down, you know, like I'm not all scientific about it, but uh, live and learn. I think I'm gonna add some of this already composting compost because it probably has a bunch of good bacteria and enzymes already in there. So try to give this a little head start with some soil. I also got a little bit of pig manure. It's definitely pig manure but it's not as bad smelling now because it's already been breaking down for a bit, but I'm gonna add some in there to just add some of the good bacteria, you know what I'm saying? Woo, stinky. Once I get my sawmill, I'll be able to put a lot of the sawdust in here as the brown layer, you know? Ideally, this stuff would be shredded so that it will break down a lot faster. It's always a good idea to keep your compost pile moist. You know, I think you don't want it to be soaking wet, but lucky for us, our soil here is very fast draining. So I'm just gonna give this a little soaking and the water is going to be draining so quickly anyways. I'm going to be keeping this covered for now just to help encourage the, the bugs. Keep the extra rain off it. You don't want it to get sopping wet. I need to get a lot more brown and greens to make a nice pile going here. So I got to get to it. I don't want to bore you with that. I'll probably be checking in on this as we go in my regular vlogs, you know, on the farm. And, you know, it'll be very interesting to see if I can be successful at making this get to a temperature where it's quickly going to break down. And that's 
the end result here. We need some good compost to replenish the garden and I'm tired of buying bagged soil. Yeah, but we will see how long this is going to take to break down. And of course the pile is going to get bigger. I'm going to keep adding the browns and the greens and a little bit of manure mixed in. And uh, after I don't know how long, maybe 40, 50, 60 days, we should be getting a little bit broken down. And that's really the ultimate goal. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. This kind of composting system here is only one of the infinite amount of farming homesteading type things we do here on the farm and you may enjoy it if you like that kind of thing so click that subscribe don't forget to pound the like button for me drop me a comment give me some tips i may not always follow your tips but the tips are encouraged because guess what guys i'm new i hardly know what i'm doing i google stuff i watch other channels i learn as i go and i mean i understand some basic fundamentals but hey this is an adventure for me and I hope it's an adventure for you watching my adventure. So we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't seen how I built our ultimate garden, I'll put it up on the screen here and you can click that and hopefully you enjoy it if you haven't seen it already. Okay, thanks.